Good morning everyone, I'm here with the online events thought for the day. Um, I thought I'd just say hello, I'm having my <laughs> cuppa at the beginning of the day. I hope you're alright too. We're looking forward to a full day of events around working online as a counsellor, psychotherapist, can't wait for that. But to get the day going I want to share our thought for the day with you, which today is from Ian Wallace and um, some ideas that he had in a recent interview about how to work with clients who are sent to us. So they haven't necessarily chosen to come to us, um, but somehow the circumstances in their life have conspired or maybe helped them to come and do some work with us. How do we do that work, especially if the person right away doesn't want to share that experience with us? Okay. Let's, let's play the clip. I hope you enjoy it. So I've just posted um, the online events thought for the day and the clip from Ian Wallace about how to work with clients who've been sent to therapy they're not impressed with that idea and um, yeah, it's a real struggle for them to get in the room with us. So yeah, I think it's a great clip. Um, watch out for it on your email or jump over to the online events Facebook page. I'm just posting it to LinkedIn and Twitter. So an important part of what we're doing at online events um, this autumn is to try and share something really good from each of our interviews. So. I hope it's a nice way for you to start the day. It's, it's great for me to re-listen to the clip, have some ideas, um, yeah, get some inspiration for the day ahead. I'm set up this morning for our events. I'm just getting a desk in place. We've got six events all about working online as a counsellor and psychotherapist. So it's a full day here online events. I've got my laptop here. We're starting off with Jane Evans. We've got Kate Dunn and Carol Francis Smith. Um, Steph Palin, Kate Anthony, Susie Mawson and Olivia Jody. So yeah, great range of colleagues. Um, Olivia and Susie are from OLT. Kate are, is the director at OTI. Steph, oh Steph, I can't remember the name of your company, but Steph trains therapists to work online with sex addiction. Very, very interesting, yes. Um, we've got Jane, um, who is the current chair of Octa. You can see me just swatting on my laptop here, and also has a very long-standing um, training company, one of the oldest here in the UK, that are the longest established. Um, and of course Kate and Carol who are also training colleagues and um, yeah we've done a lot of work with recently over the last year at online events you want to check out their series um, that, that uh, online events that is I guess a kind of beginning um, to work online with as a counsellor so yeah definitely check out that series in our library Oh, I wanted to tell you about the start of the day and really I think I'm, I'm more turning into an online events advert. Yeah, hope that doesn't feel like too much information. So we are, what, three, three sessions into, oh, it's a bit bumpy with this camera, sorry. We're three sessions into our conference day on working online as a counsellor and psychotherapist. I'm really, really enjoying it. We started off with Jane Evans, who's been talking about some of the history of online counselling that has been happening amongst colleagues in the UK. Kate Dunn and Carol Francis Smith have been um, spent an hour with us thinking about ethics while working online. And we've just had an hour with Steph Palin thinking about working with couples online. Very interesting. It's a great hour, you even find out how to use the creative tool in Zoom that I didn't even know uh, was available. Well, I, had a, I knew it was available, but I had never used it before. So that was exciting. I'm just going to watch the road so I don't get run over as I pass. 
like cross the road huh? very nice guy in the BMW just stopping from me there thank you and it's time for a break and it's interesting well probably not interesting to you but I'm just thinking I'm off to have my therapy but I'm not walking to um, I'm not walking to my therapist's office I always have my therapy online now I'm using Zoom and my therapist isn't in her usual place either so she will be um, out of her office and we'll both be connecting online I'm walking to somewhere well, just to get some exercise <laughs> although I love days oh I've got something in my eye I love days like this where we do one interview after another on the same topic I also need to get a bit of exercise it would be great to have my therapeutic contact um, for this week and um, yeah it's, it's just on the day that we're doing a whole day on working online as a counsellor I'm also having my therapy so I'm right in the full experience today oh, I'm just blethering away here so I'm going to find somewhere nice to sit or I might even do a little bit of walking therapy I might be online with my therapist for a little while as I'm walking so it's perfect exercise I get the emotional support for me this week and I'm also in the topic of the whole day I love it okay, catch you later Just finished my therapy session and walking back to the flat. Looking forward to the event with Kate Anthony. So yeah, that's going to be um, really interesting. I can't wait for the conversation. I think it's going to be a great recording. Um, yeah, I was commenting earlier how interesting it is to be my own online therapy as the client in the day of conversations about being an online therapist. Um, I know I couldn't do the work of being a counsellor, psychotherapist without that support in my life, to have someone who knows me well, who is with me through all the ups and downs and yeah, so it makes such a difference to me. You know, I wonder about you, it's, you know, maybe you're taking some time to watch this. Is that an important part of your life and your practice? certainly is for mine. I was talking to a friend yesterday and I was also getting some feedback about these videos and it was making me think the purpose of recording these little pieces of video is really to show the, the background of what happens at online events, maybe some of what it's like to live as a trainer and a psychotherapist. But really what I don't want to do is leave the feeling that everything's fantastic or you could train as a therapist and have a wonderful, wonderful life and that's certainly not our philosophy at Temenos. I mean, uh, this kind of training and this kind of life doesn't mean that you've suddenly come into Nirvana. You know, there's some big things going on in my life and they're not easy to manage. I can take care of them because I've got a lot of support and I've developed a lot of resilience, as many of us have. And yeah, so I also want to just make a moment for that as I'm going, oh, and this is a great conversation, we're having a great day and there's lots of good stuff going on, but of course that's the stuff I want to share with you. And um, yeah, the harder things I'm, I'm going to keep for my therapy and for the people around me um, and I hope you don't get that sense from me that oh everything's fantastic and if you do this this and this you um, everything's great and they're nirvana like that's just not it's just not human life um, so yeah a moment for me during the day and a pause for reflection as I talk to you and kind of share that with you and I, I wonder what your experience is of being in the helping professions and having a life actually being a human being and having things to, to manage perhaps going through big big transitions as I am just now how, how do you manage and what's it like and how do you stay present for your work for the people you love the clients that you're working with you feel deeply about it's not easy but 
and it's important, I guess, to stay fresh and um, excited, but also grounded in how hard it can be at times to be human. Yeah. Something to think about. Back to the events. I'll see you online. Oh, just packing up after a full day online. We've had six events. I've also had a meeting and my own therapy session, which well, I guess I've been saying all day is so interesting. I have my therapy online and all the events today were about online therapy. So, oh, lots to think about. We've just finished with Olivia Jody talking about um, how to work with clients online who have serious medical issues. Very interesting and very, very important. And you've got to check out um, Susie's event on working with couples using email. Very moving finish to that interview, but they were all great. Lots of great stuff in the library. It's time to have a cuppa over here. I don't know if, I think I'm a little bit tired. I've done all my tasks, so my team should be happy. The video and the audio is uploading. It should be all in the library by tomorrow. Hope you've had a good day. See you tomorrow.